Day Wheel 5 of my Revive Pelvic Floor Health Core Rehab where we utilize core back immersion therapy. Are you interested in seeing the incredible transformations and recoveries from pelvic floor issues, hip pain, back pain, postpartum complications such as diastasis recti, umbilical hernia, C-section, and prolapse? So in this video, I'll share you some actual case studies of my core back immersion therapy where some of my recent graduates finally felt so much relief from their bladder leak finally have no more pain during their intimacy and be able to have more functional pelvic floor. So I have my friend Sandy, who is also postpartum and she's trying her best to have a stronger core, stronger pelvic floor, not to have any more pain during her period or to have more flexibility and mobility. And in this video, we are going to tackle the wall as well. As I promised you from my last video 4, make sure you watch from video 1 to video 4 because today we're going to cover a lot of things and I'm also going to share some of my amazing testimonies of my recent graduates such as Anna, Heather, and Tammy. These are lovely ladies who recent graduates from my Revive Pelvic Floor Health Core Rehab. So in this video, we're going to also discuss about SI joint dysfunction. If you find the foam roller a little bit more aggressive on your buttocks because sometimes they are very firm, you can use rolled towels for absolute beginners or prop up pillows and make sure the ball is proper height. Sit, when you sit down on it, your knees are not too high or too low. And then the wall, make sure you're not uncomfortable on your buttocks when you're lying on it if you have sacroiliac dysfunction. So we are starting using the ball first and we're gonna lie on our back and we'll have our elastic band to strengthen our upper back and our hips. And also, we're also gonna show the importance of the strength of your toes, their midfoot, because this will support your pelvic floor as a cushion when you jump, run, and do higher impact activities from ground up. So fun fact, your foot directly affects your pelvic floor, your deep core, and your overall posture. So if you have a lot of weakness on your foot, such as flat feet, bunions, and you're shifting your body weight and you're not engaging your gluteal muscles, especially the medius and minimus that will help your tilt, then it will cause pressure on your pelvic floor. So it affects this connection is facilitated through our fascia. The fascia acts as a super stretchy glue that maintains structure in our bodies. It is a thin connective tissue that envelopes and supports our organ, blood vessels, bone, nerve, nerve fibers, and muscles in our body. Beyond structure supports the fascia, that's when we try to relieve it with massages, contains also nerves. That's why when you get the massage, it's so sensitive to touch sometimes when they're very tight and inflamed, making it almost as sensitive as our skin. A true fascinating aspect of our body. And that's why sometimes no matter how much you get the massages, you still feel very sore and stiff. That's why we need to move our body to lengthen our fascia, not just our muscles. So through movement, it will heal our body. And that's why we have the foam roller to help a deep massage. So let's begin our program now. Lie on your back with your feet up first. And we're going to try to cover from week one to week four what everything we learned. Let me see if I can see you there. Okay, my friends, let's begin with your feet up, hands up to the heavens. And we're going to slowly open your knees out to butterfly stretch. So keeping your feet out, but your, your feet together, I mean, and then your knees out and spread it out. Can you feel that on your hips? Good. Hold that position and we're going to do side to side stretch to stretch your hip groin and your fascia. Remember, we talk about our fascia and the toe should be pointing to the heavens. As you breathe in, zip it up from your lower abs, your navel, as you breathe out. Feels good, right? It's nice to stretch your hips, especially if you're sitting a lot. Last set, inhale, exhale. Now, arms overhead, hold that position, hold that butterfly position, and we're going to slowly lift your hips up in butterfly. And it's like a bridge and lift. Breathe out. In, expand your abdominal muscles and your rib cage as you breathe in and breathe out slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time and exhale slowly down and arms up again while still holding that beautiful butterfly stretch inhale exhale and lift you might feel shaky with the ball right sandy can you feel that this helps target those deep muscles breathe in and breathe out down Inhale, exhale, lift. 
Inhale. Exhale down. Bend arms up back. Tapping your knees. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. Exhale down. Slow and steady. Last one, my friends. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift. Breathe in. Breathe out down. Well done. Now close your knees together. And we're going to slowly lift one leg up. I'm extending my left leg. And then lifting my left arms up as I breathe out. And then pulling my band to the right, to my right hip. And then inhale back center. And then switch to the other side. Lifting my right leg and right, right arm up. Alternating left and right. Holding the ball for stability. Inhale. Exhale. Squeezing your core in as you extend. Four more. Feels good to stretch, right? Do you feel that on your legs? Three more. Two more. Last set. And one. Well done. Now we'll do leg circle with one arm up. Toes pointing to heavens. We'll do small circle like a size of a small dish. Control the ball. Control your foot. You're going to feel it both legs, right? Keeping that balance, try not to rock your hips low and steady. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse circle. Holding that band, still extending it to engage your upper back. Reverse circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then switch to the other side with your toes pointing to the heavens. And then right arm up overhead. Take a deep breath and circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then reverse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, that was lovely, right? With your leg extended on the ball. Place the bands against your hips like this to challenge your glutes muscles because your glutes will help your buttocks to strengthen and help your pelvic floor. As you inhale, expand, zip it up and lift up and balance. So the ball gives the challenge, right? Breathe in again and breathe out. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lift. You feel that on your buttocks and your hamstring? Inhale, exhale down. Breathe in, breathe out, up, up. Breathe in, breathe out, down. Two more. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, down. Last set, breathe in, breathe out, lift. Breathe in, breathe out, down. Well done. Now we are going to do a arms overhead and we're going to do a straight leg raise, lift one leg up and then tap the band with your knee as you breathe out. Inhale down, exhale switch. And you're going to feel that the hamstrings working hard to keep the ball steady, right? They're both working hard to stabilize and lengthen, tapping gently as you breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, lift, tap, inhale, exhale, switch. You feel that stretching, Sandy, is tight, right, on the hamstring, and this will help your pelvic floor once you lengthen those muscles slow and steady. We're not yanking our legs, right? We're doing slow, controlled lengthening, and that's important. You do something you can accommodate, your, your body could do it, right? without doing too much pressure on your pelvic floor and your legs. Last set. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down. 
Okay, my friends, how are you feeling, Sandy? Good. So now we're going to do some V stretching. Lift one leg up and lift the bands as well. And then hold the ball, okay, as we lower to the side as much as you can open and breathe out control balance. And this will help open the hip groin area. Inhale, exhale up and then down. And then switch the other side, lift your right leg up. Inhale, exhale, open. Feel the hip opening, right? Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, down. How are you feeling? It's nice to open those hips, right? We have two more, just two repetitions more. Especially for beginners, this is only our video five. And there's so much more to learn inside Revive Pelvic Floor Health Core we have. Last set, my friends. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down. Last one on your right. You feel that the back of your knee, right? It's really lengthening and tight. The inner side, right? And then relax. Well done. Now we're going to do some gentle side to side stretch of the pelvis as you breathe in and breathe out. You feel that on the side, right? Just gentle, like wiper motion as you breathe in and breathe out. Last set. Well done. Now let go of the ball a little bit. We're going to grab the foam roller and the foam roller will be placed under your pelvis. Gravity assisted as we have been learning in the past few weeks of our program. <laughs> it's rolling, I know. The, it's just like the, the ground, right? It's, it's a little bit lopsided to the, to the right. Okay, steady, okay? So make sure it's on your pelvis, not on your hamstrings, not on your low back. Okay, so now we are on the foam roller. As I said, nothing, not on your low back, not on your hamstrings. If it hurts, stop. You can do this even without the foam roller. But if you can't do the exercises because the gravity assistant helps support your weak pelvic floor, your weak abdominal muscles, and your hip flexors, you can use prop pillows. So with your both legs elevated now, toes pointing away, and then hands pointing up with the elastic band. As you breathe in, tap with your right foot and left arm up, pulling the band down, same side, and pulling the band up, opposite side. So I'm tapping my right foot, and my right hand down, keeping your knee bent to 90 degrees, bend it closer. There you go. And then inhale, exhale up, back center. Both hands pointing up to the heavens again. And if you feel like the foam motor is falling off, then I'd rather you hold on for absolute beginners. So for absolute beginners, you can just tap gently. So bend your knees. So tap your left foot. And then for those who could join me, right arm up. And then back center as you breathe in and then switch. Inhale, back center, exhale, tap. Breathe in and breathe out. Squeeze your core in, zip it up as you tap. Four more. Three more. Two. Last set. Well done. And now we're going to slowly extend one leg, right leg. If you need to hold on, you can. And then alternating kicks. Lengthen. Inhale, exhale. Keeping your legs. Bend to 90 when you're done. Extending. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Now we're going to open your knees out to a butterfly stretch while your knees are bent. And I'm separating the band. Breathe in 
and breathe out back center. Breathe in and breathe out open. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Can you feel that stretch, right? You can handle it, Sandy. Four. No pain? Good. As long as there's no pain. Three. Just tight test, right? Two. And one. We are progressing, Sandy. In the butterfly stretch, we're going to extend your leg to V. And then bend. And there. So it's a little bit progressive, okay? If you can't progress with extension into a V, you can just continue just butterfly. So inhale. Exhale. Kick. Bend. And center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Kick. Bend. Center. Four more. Don't forget your breath. One. Three. Especially when you kick to a V stretch. Breathe out. Two. Last one. And one. Well then, and with your leg extended to the heavens, we're gonna do circle like a size of a small dish. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, now grab your bands and place your bands around the arch of your foot. As I said, we're focusing on your feet and your midfoot area. And then wrap it up like this. Hold on tight. And we'll do ankle pumps. Lay the bands on the sole of your foot. Two, Feel, it feels good, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and then circles. Ten. Support your ankle strength for stability. Strengthen it. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you can join me, we're gonna do V stretch with the band and separate and exhale if you can't do it with the band you can hold on just do v stretch hold on to the foam over two three it's a different feel right with your leg extends extended four breathe out as you open five six seven we're almost done eight nine feel the burn right on your foot and 10 and now we're gonna do some lovely um straight leg raise so with one knee bent or one foot down to support if you want to support like this there you go and then we're gonna straight leg raise down you can do it with the band or without the band for those who can let go of the foam roller or you can lift your foot up one leg up for more instability but that will challenge your core so i have my right foot up sandy is challenging as well but she doesn't have the elastic band around her foot and that's fine for those who can't control the foam roller yet exhale as you lift and once you reach up inhale again and exhale down five four Three, two, last one, and one. And then switch to the other side and placing the band on the other side of my foot. As I said, you can keep the other foot down for stability or challenge in a double tabletop in the tabletop position and then have the arch of your foot with the band. As you exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Feels so good, right? Do you feel that stretch? Isn't that... You're getting better, Sandy, since you started the program with me. Do you notice that? It's getting straighter, right? Isn't that beautiful? When I met you, you can't lock your knee. 
Good job. It's amazing how your body is improving, right? Beautiful work, five. And despite her very active lifestyle of lifting weights, right, Sandy? This is a different program, right? Sometimes you need to lengthen, and that's the missing part, right? On building strength, right, Sandy? Two more. Last one. And down, well done. Now let go of the band. We're going to progress. If you can't do it, Sandy, yet, that's fine. With your feet together like a butterfly position, we're going to tap the floor. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze your core in. I have the band in front of me to engage my core further. So I'm holding the bands across my chest. Pulling it apart, engaging my scapular muscles as I tap my foot down and breathe out. Inhale, exhale up. Last one. And up. Can you feel that beautiful stretch? Beautiful. And now we're going to grab our ball again and we're going to sit on the ball for our pelvic floor health. We are seated on a ball now. And uh, you've seen, we've been doing this for the past few weeks in one of our videos as i said don't miss out from video one to video four before video five we have two more videos before we end our free seven part journey series so now we're going to strengthen our toes by placing the bands and this is also good for our bicep muscles good and then we're going to press down against the band and bounce on the ball so you want to make sure it's on the sole of your feet and you're arching as you pull the bands up and tap it. You feel that a little bit, right? Balancing. Breathe in and breathe out. That's the difference from our other seated video. Five, keep your back straight. Engage your bicep muscles. Four, three, two, one. And then we're going to separate your feet apart more like a goddess pose with the band this time. And we're going to do some hip circles. Breathe in and breathe out. The tension on your toes, keeping your big toes, like toes planted on the ground to engage as we make circles. Five, four, three, two, one, and then reverse. Ten, nine. Feels good on your pelvic floor, right? Eight. And if you can open your knees out more. There you go. Feel that stretch. Three, two, one. One, and then we're going to do side to side stretch where you extend your leg as you lean one side. Balance, extend. There you go, balance. Five, lock your knee as you shift. Four, with your breath work. Three, two, keep your biceps engaged, keep your back straight. And one. Now let go. Face the band across your back. And pull this band apart. And really open your knees out like this to a goddess pose. And now we're going to do trunk rotation to engage your obliques. Breathe in and breathe out. Four more. Open your chest out more, Sandy. Three. Two. Last one, and one, and then side to side stretch. Like I'm leaning on my right knee, still pulling the bands apart. The other side. So we're targeting our side, our obliques, as well as our trunk flexors, side flexors, for our spine and our shoulders. Five more. Breathe out as you lean on one side. Four feels a good stretch, right? We're almost done. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Now we are going to a wall and we're going to do some wall plotters. We're going to end the program soon. Okay, my friends, we are on the wall now. Right, Sandy? How are you feeling, Sandy? So ready, but in a good way, right? It's nice to open those hips. We did a lot of hip opening today than the first video we did, right? We, we did more opening today. You notice that? Okay, my friends, we're going to lie on your back. That's why go to video one first and learn about proper breath work and grab your ball. 
we're gonna engage those hip adductors more by squeezing it tight. So as I said, you can be a few inches off the wall on your buttock, Sandy, or you can come closer if you like. Depends on your flexibility. So the closer you are, the harder it is. So now you're gonna squeeze the ball as hard as you can as you breathe in, and then you have your band with you. I'm lying on my band so I could do some chest press. I'm squeezing, squeezing. As I inhale, exhale, open my feet apart and I'm pressing against the ball while I'm pulling the band. And then lift my feet up again and squeeze. So squeeze the ball, press against the band and then hold onto the ball, separate your feet apart and breathe out. And then press against the ball. Inhale, squeeze again. Feel that in your hip adductors when you squeeze, right? Let go of the ball and open. Two more. We're improving our primary, primary stabilizers, our hip adductors, and then releasing that. Contract, relax. One of these deep hip rotators and the obturator internus is so important to strengthen. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And up. Offering a stability mechanism for the pelvis last set. The front of the pelvic floor connects directly to the transverse abdomen. So we're training our transverse right now. The abdominal muscles, the deepest abdominal muscles. Last one. And it links the rear of the, of the pelvic floor, links to the glutes. So we're going to do some linking on that. The largest muscle, the buttocks. Place your feet on top of the ball. And we're going to bridge up with your breath work. So we're doing some extension. The diaphragm and the soul was breathing. Breathe out. The femoral head is positioned directly behind the soba, so forming a supportive barrier to the hip. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale up. So we're utilizing a wall for stability. And this will give us a good deep core workout right now. Can you feel it? Inhale. Exhale down. Can you handle it well? The ball helps, right? Inhale. So it's smoother than just the wall. So when you go up, the core, the ball helps to activate the core stabilizers and balance activities are essential tools to strengthen your weak core and pelvic floor. Exhale down. Effectively. Inhale, exhale up. Activating your pelvic floor compared just to, to without the ball and the wall. Inhale, exhale. Step by step guide. We're doing this with this yoga pilates wall. And then down. Well done. Whew, that was lovely, right? You okay? Whew, now without the ball, now we're going to go arms overhead. We move it. And now we're going to grab the foam roller. Another way to strengthen with the foam roller. So we can challenge our single leg lifts. I know, the ball is rolling everywhere. <laughs> With your hands on the side, and we're going to bridge again. And you can roll the ball. So this helps challenge, and then bend, and lift it off. So strengthen your midfoot and toes, as we talked about earlier, from the ground up. So you're using your toe strength to form that challenge. You feel that? The stability, right? And then down, as you bridge down. So as you lift up, you push up like you're pushing a, a rolling pin on the wall using your toes and you're really using your hamstrings can you feel that in your hamstrings at the back of your thighs and exhale down so you can come closer i think sandy so inhale exhale up bridge and then roll this is another remarkable recovery you can do and exhale down Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale down. It's hard, that right? The stability. Last one. 
So it's like um, until you can fully extend and then go until you can fully bend. It's a lot of control the strength. The toe strength, right? Hamstrings, yeah, hamstrings, yeah. It's okay, we're almost done. Okay, arms up with the foam roller. V stretch, we are almost done. And then pull up on the V. Engage your transverse abdominis and zip it up. If there's doming on your diaphragm, recti, stop. Then you're not ready. Doming is when there's a space that you can see is bulging. Or you can just tap it like this with a gentle chin tuck. So you can just engage your core. Can you feel your abdominal muscles engaging? It's a little bit shaky, right? This will help tone your abdominal muscles safely postpartum. We're not doing the sit-ups that's fast, you know? And this is bad for the pelvic floor. I don't want you to do ab crunches. This is different from ab because we're doing slow control and we're doing a breath work. <sighs> Squeezing your pelvic floor, zip it up. Inhale up. Expand your abdominal muscle, push out, zip it up, and squeeze, chin tuck, and lift. <sighs> Last one. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> and we're cooling down now with some gentle stretches. With one leg up and slide to a figure four and then bend your knee to stretch. You feel that stretch on your butt? That's good. Inhale up and then exhale, bend again. Last set. And then rock side to side. Feels so good. Now switch to the other side, left foot over and slide down before bending your right knee. And up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then rock side to side. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my lovely Pilates Yoga Physical Therapy with my friend Sandy using the foam roller, the elastic band, and the ball. And I'm hoping that testimonies of my students that we watched earlier about those recent graduates from Revive Public for Health or Re Rehab inspires you as I'm so thrilled to present this comprehensive therapy program that combines Pilates Yoga Physical Therapy, evidence-based science, that I fused together core back immersion therapy through the years as a physical therapist where I helped thousands of men and women who suffered from pelvic floor issues with neck and back pain and a lot of core issues. So please note that due to the personalized attention I provided, I can only accommodate a limited number of participants. If you're committed to overcoming your pelvic floor issues, enhancing your core strength, improve your posture, and finally fix your postpartum complications or if you're perimenopausal, menopausal women, be on the lookout. Watch out for my upcoming email where I will share crucial instructions on securing your spot. So to be on the lookout, write your name and email address. Be part of the early bird waitlist. I'll be reopening the class very soon. So if you miss any part of my previous of my free seven part journey series, you can find replays in the description down below or in the end of my video. Thank you for your support. Remember, spots are limited and will be filled as a first-come, first-served basis because I want to hold your hand, reach your goals to finally fix your pelvic floor issues. So secure your spot early by signing up the waitlist and be in the lookout of my email. Thank you again, Sandy, for joining. And I'll see you in my next video training. Video 6 will be a little bit more, more again, a lot on, on our hands and knees position to strengthen our core. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. If you have more time today, watch this video, our proper breath work, and video to how to use the foam roller safely. Until next time, bye!